Hello, this is Dr. David Clark. I will be walking you through this case. Please make sure to read the article from Oral Health Journal, which is available at the Biocrim Matrix website. The BioClear 360 veneer matrix is available as a complete kit. Dentists are required to attend a one or two day BioClear certification training course. The single shade of body composite is placed and cured under wet conditions to evaluate color choice. In this case, the patient chose B1 body shade. The BioClear BioBlaster is utilized with aluminum trihydroxide powder to remove biofilm, which has been previously stained with a disclosing solution, which is included in the 360 veneer kit. Old composite is removed with a coarse flame diamond burr. If the old composite is well bonded, the deep composite does not need to be removed. In this case, the old composite was leaking, so I removed all of the old composite. Long bevels are prepared to allow ideal adhesion, aesthetics, and strength. We will now briefly shift to a newer case with updated matrixing and filling techniques. Notice the patent pending cervical notch of the Biocare 360 veneer matrix that corresponds to the patient's papilla. This allows full seating and an ideal seal with the matrix. Here I am trimming the palatal of the distal matrix. The palatal zenith was shorter on this patient than the facial zenith and would not have allowed full seating. So in these cases, it's important to trim back the palatal portion of the matrix slightly. Notice how the matrices allow very active rinsing action. Make sure to massage the adhesive into any dentin areas for a full 20 seconds for ideal adhesion and reduction of post-operative sensitivity. Make sure to completely wet all of the enamel with adhesive. The adhesive is air thinned, driving off the solvents which also allows the adhesive to completely wet the tooth, even in deep interproximal areas. Do not cure the adhesive yet. 
go directly to injection of the warmed flowable composite. Injection of a warmed flowable composite is crucial in all gingival and interproximal areas. Next, the regular paste composite, which is also heated, is injected directly against the tooth and into the flowable composite to allow ideal flow. Start at the gingival, weaving mesial distally, then toward the incisal, and then finally toward the palatal. Two to three millimeters of excess composite on the incisal is a safe volume to avoid having a void. Use two bioclear paddle instruments together to readapt the matrices and to push excess composite out toward the facial through the vent. Last-minute changes in incisal shape are made right before light curing. Two curing lights can be used to accelerate photopolymerization. Make sure to use air to cool the tooth while you are light curing. The straight end of the Clark Explorer is used to release the matrices on both the facial and palatal. The hemostat is then used to spin out the matrices. The coarse flame diamond burr chops off the vestige. Chop the excess incisal length, leaving the final millimeter to be sanded with discs. The palatal fossa is then created. The incisal edge is brought closer to anticipated length, but final shapes are made when all of the teeth have been overmolded. This is for both efficiency and symmetry reasons.
The True Contact Safe Side Saw removes unwanted tags of resin and assures a true and solid contact. Use narrow composite strips, use the coarse side and then the fine side to smooth the gingival margins. BioClear's unique fit allows you to do very little sanding of these margins. Coarse pumice is utilized in a disposable cup for the pre-polish step. The final step of polishing is the use of the Shape and Shine Diamond Impregnated Cup.